Today on Fatty's Feast, I am sharing with you some simple, cheap, and effective ways you can modify your offset smoker for better airflow and more even cooking. Let's get started. Welcome in everyone, my name is Josh. Thank you so much for joining us today. I know, I know, I've done a lot of videos on experiments with the smoker and not so much with the flat top and no cooking things or anything like that. I'm sorry. I wanted to do a flat top video today, but looking around, as you can see, the weather is terrible, it's raining. We had a blizzard come through. We're gonna have another blizzard or ice storm come through tomorrow. So cooking has been very difficult. Needless to say, I cannot wait for spring. It's gonna be amazing when it finally gets here. And secondly, if you can maybe tell, I'm slurring my words a little bit and my face is sort of screwed up on one side. It's not because I'm drunk, surprisingly. I actually had mouth surgery this morning. I had a procedure done, transferring some tissue because of my receding gum lines. That's not the point. The point of that story, I can't eat anything exciting for like the next week. I'm gonna be sticking to soup and eggs and I'm sure you don't wanna see me make soup and eggs on the flat top or the smoker. So I just figured I'd come out and do a short video today for you guys about modifying your smoker a little better and doing some other cool things to make your cooking experience the best it could possibly be. So I've received so many comments about the old country Brazos talking about the baffled plate and talking about removing that, but I've also gotten a lot of comments about this chimney. Now typically with your cheap offset smokers you find at your local hardware stores, you're gonna have a small chimney. The chimney would typically be this height. This is about, uh, it's like between 18 and 24 inches, but it's only going to be about two to three inches in diameter. And because of that, you don't get a lot of draw or airflow through the smoker. The great thing about this old country Brazos is it has a thick chimney. Damn boy. This bad boy's about five inches across. And for all you girls out there, that's about five inches. That's my hand, okay? Take notes. But the problem with this thing compared to other more expensive models of smokers is it's not that high. It's only 18 to 24 inches high. There's no collector on this. I don't see it as that big of an issue, but making this smokestack higher, like doubling its size, would definitely be a positive thing to do for better airflow. Now I've seen people cut the chimney off and weld something on here and make it like a permanent fixture. I'm too lazy. And the other problem I have is I have this canopy here and that's obviously gonna restrict my space a little bit because this smokestack is going to be touching the top of this canopy by the time I'm done. Which means in order to use this smoker without burning the top of my canopy or my lights, I'm going to have to bring this smoker out and have the stack outside of the canopy. Which also means when I go to store this, I need to pull it back in and remove the extension from the smokestack. So that means I need to have something I can take off and store away. So instead of going through all the trouble of making a permanent fixture, there's a very simple and cheap solution. So after I got my mouth obliterated today, I stopped by Lowe's and I picked me up some stove pipe. This is just an extender, basically for your, your stoves. This is obviously heat resistant, it's metal, and it's already coated in heat resistant paint. Now this bad boy is six inches in diameter. Once again, ladies, for reference, take notes, there's my hand. And it's approximately 24 inches high. I think the gauge on this is about 22. They had options for 30 gauge and 28 gauge and 26 gauge. I just went with the thickest option because I want it to be as insulated as possible. It doesn't need to be pristine. It's not gonna be quarter inch thick like the steel, but the thicker the better. I wanna keep all those gases as hot as possible when they go up this chimney. Now, obviously when I go to stick it on here, it doesn't work because I have this little cover that I wanna keep on there and the diameters are different. So instead of cutting this piece out and trying to fit it on here all nice and snug, there's a better option. This is a five inch to six inch adapter, and this is just going to sit right in here like so. And what makes this very convenient is I can just stick it on when I wanna use my smoker, and when I'm done, I just take it out, put it in my smoker for storing away, and I can put my cover on, and it's like nothing ever changed. Now what I'm gonna do in this wet area here is I'm gonna throw on some high heat spray paint. This is heat resistant up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. They have some other ones you can buy that are resistant up to 1200. I don't find that as very necessary. And this is just for aesthetics. I don't know how well that's going to dry today. It's a little bit wet and cold out, but we'll see. And that looks pretty good, sort of. Like I said, just for looks. So I'm gonna move this off this table because it's getting wet. All in all, everything I just showed you cost me $34, I believe it was. The stovepipe was about $17, I believe. And once again, you don't have to spend that much. You can get a 
lower gauge or higher gauge, excuse me, thinner for less cost. I think the 30 gauge was about $10. The adapter surprisingly was $10. I don't know why that was so expensive. And then the spray paint was about $5. The higher heat stuff is like $3 more. So you don't have to go with a higher heat because you're putting it on this end of the smoker. It doesn't really matter. You're not gonna get temperatures of 1200 degrees over here. Now let's take a look at the inside and look at the baffle plate. Let me get these racks out first. This thing is nasty. I need my Grillaholics grill brushes. All right, so here's the baffle plate currently. In the other videos, I showed you my temperature test by undoing these welds here and just pushing it up. And it's transferred the hotspot about to here. I wanna take it out. This is going to be painful, I believe. And yes, I know my smoker is disgusting. It is what it is. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna attach these clamps. Of course, I can't have two the same size. And I'm just gonna to try to break these welds. There are three welds right along the side here and it's impossible to get a grinder in there. So I'm gonna to try to break those off. I'm just gonna move this bad boy up and down. Oh, this actually might not be too bad. Let me move this fire brick out of the way. That would be helpful. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was very easy. Look at that. And now here's where the welds were on the sides and we have a hot spot that'll be right here. We want it closest to the firebox as possible, which will allow even cooking throughout the entire smoke chamber. Let me stick this grate back in. What I'll do temporarily, so I'll put this thing right about here. And I'll just leave it there for now, but that could serve as something for my water pan, like such. I don't know, we'll see how it works. Now I know that some of you that follow this channel also follow the channel Mad Scientist Barbecue. And I know he just did a video similar to this. And I know some of you are gonna be like, oh my God, you stole his idea. Look, I wanted to make a video about this for a few weeks. It was my plan this week. He beat me to it, okay, by a few days. I'm sorry, it happens. I wasn't gonna change my plans because he made a video as well, especially with this whole thing going on and this crap weather. But that's the nice thing about YouTube is you can bounce ideas off each other. You can show the same way of doing things your way or whatever. It's not stealing content, it's your own content. So I'm not stealing anyone's content, just relax. Plus he's a huge channel, okay? So more you probably saw his stuff than you're seeing this. It just is what it is. All right, so this ain't pretty but it's been 15 minutes or so. It's dry to the touch. So what we'll do is we'll throw this right on there like that, and then we'll throw this on here, stick it right in there. That's what she said. And now you have a chimney that's almost double the size. I gotta get that sticker off. I hate stickers, what the? There we go, that's better. So once again, now you have a chimney that is almost double the size. If we look at the top here, I got about 10 inches to the roof. It's very close to these lights. So I'll definitely take this and move it out. Notice I'll have to put the extension on after I get it out from my canopy because this is taller than my canopy. And now what's really nice is when I'm done with it, I can take the stack off, put it in there, and I can take this off as well. I guess the paint wasn't that dry. Oh well. I can stick this, well it fits perfectly right there. And then I can close this up and it's like I never did anything to it. And this is actually where I keep most of my smoking stuff. All the stuff you see over here, I actually just leave it in the smoker and it makes it very easy. So when I'm ready to come out and smoke, I can just pull everything out, put it off to the side and not worry about running back and forth from the house to get things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope if you have an offset smoker like the Old Country Brazos, you can do these simple modifications to just make your temps a lot better. Obviously I'm not doing a biscuit test because this thing, but I can't wait to actually cook a piece of meat on here and I think my temps are gonna be even better than I thought they were before. Once I do my first cook using these modifications, I will put a link at the end of this video in the description, in the comments, yada, 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 you know the drill. So that being said, thank you once again so much for watching. If you found value, please hit the like button, leave us a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys about your thoughts or maybe if you've done something similar to this with your smoker, let me know, let me know how it works out. And until next time, everyone, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, stay warm, stay dry, and stay tubby.